Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you everyone? How was your day today? Alhamdulillah. Where are we today? Inshallah today we're going to continue with the intro. We'll continue with the intro. You remember your homework? Last class I gave you home to, to choose one of these, either to give direction to a place near your house or to talk about a book you have read. Which one did you choose? Okay, we'll have example for each one. If you have chosen to give direction, your answer may look like this one. Walk out the door and turn right. You'll see a park on your right. Go straight and take the second turning on the left. The mosque is on your right or any acceptable answer as long as you use the correct words for direction. Turn right, go straight, and so on. Did you choose to write about your, your favorite book? Okay, you can describe your book, the plot of your favorite book, I can't put it down. The events are unpredictable, unpredictable. It's full of surprises. I really recommend it for you. This is a way to talk about your favorite book. Okay, let's move to our lesson here. Let's start with a short game. Look at the pictures. What is the name of each picture? You can see what, you, what is it? The first one, what is this? It is a, a hat, yes. A pier, yes a pen, and the last one is a lamp. Now the game is change one letter in the word to make a new word. For example, hat, change one letter and produce a new word with a different meaning. Can you think, for example, if you change the H into C, it's going to be what? Right, it's going to be cat. If you change the H into C, it's going to be it's going to be cat. Another thing, what can you do? You can change what? Hat, cat, or you can change the C into R. It's going to be what? Rat, right? Or do you have other things? You can change the A or the T. You can change the A into I, hit, wonderful. Okay, the following one, can you produce a new word? A name of an animal, for example? Yes, wonderful, excellent. Bear. We change the P into a B. Pen, what do you think? Can you change the P, the E, the N? Yes, I change the P into an H. It's going to be a hen, right? Or, what can you do? Another, another word, instead of hen, you can use what? Ten, right, you can change the a, the P into a T. Lamp, right, you can change the, right, the P into a B, it's going to be a lamp. Wonderful, do you like the game? You can play it later on with your family. Okay, today, inshallah, what are we going to do? We're going to practice asking about services in a bank and we'll answer questions based on a listening task. Let's get started. Where are the two friends? Do you remember Amal and her friend Yasmin? Where are they to in, in this lesson? And we talked about them where, when they were in the shop, right? Then they were talking about the book. Today, where do you think they are? Now we'll guess here. The first letter from each word will tell you where they are. What is the first letter from book? Right, a B, the second one, an arrow, an A, the last, the third one, yes, a nest, and a kite. So where are they? Yes, they are in the bank, excellent. They are in the bank. What do you think they're going to do in the bank? Usually, what do people do in a bank? Can you think of words related to bank? When I say bank, what comes to your mind? Give me words, any words that comes to your mind. Any word related to the word bank? Yes, we can say charge, money, cash, what else? A bank clerk, checkbook, yes, more, more words. Pay, account, you open an account in a bank, you deposit, yes, you deposit money, you, you have a credit card from the, your credit card from the bank. You withdraw money. 
So either you deposit money or you withdraw money. What else? Yes, saving. You have a saving, an account for saving. So these words are related with bank. We'll see what is Amal and her friend are doing. Amal and her friend are doing in the bank. Listen to the conversation, then answer the following question. We're going to listen to the conversation, and you're going to tell me why are Amal and Yasmin in the bank? Why are they in the bank? What are they doing? What do you think they're doing? Listen and tell me. Are you ready? Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. We'd like to withdraw some cash from this credit card. Do you have an account with us? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Just checking. There is no service charge for account holders. Oh, I see. What do you think, Amal? Wouldn't it be a good idea to open an account? I'll be back here every few months. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Whatever you think is best. In that case, I'd like to open an account, please. Of course. Would you like to come this way and fill out some documents? Thank you. Oh, excuse me. I'd like to withdraw some money from my account. I didn't realize you had an account at this bank. Yes, I do. It's just that I don't use it often enough to remember. Sorry. That's fine. I'm glad we'll both be using the same bank. Oh, look at the number of people waiting at the counter. I wish I had the card for my cash card account. I could use the ATM. I forgot to take it this morning. Please don't worry. I'll wait for you. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Yasmin. Stores are about to close for the afternoon. You'd better hurry and pick up your gown. You're probably right. Actually, I won't pick it up today. I'd like them to take the hem up. You'll be all right, won't you? Yes, of course. Give me a ring on my cell phone when you're ready. I'll do that. Okay. See you soon. Okay, so why are they in the bank? Why are Amal and Yasmin in the bank? What are they doing? Right, they're withdrawing cash, yes. She wants to withdraw cash. Why? Do you remember what was she doing? Yes, she wants to buy a gown, right? And the shop didn't ex accept her credit card. Wonderful. So they are there to withdraw some cash. Wonderful. Okay, let's go more deep in the conversation and answer the questions here. You're going to write in front of each sentence either true or false. T for true, F for false. Sentence number one. Yasmin can't use the type of credit card because she doesn't have an account. Two, Yasmin is interested in opening an account. Three, Amal can use the ATM. Four, Yasmin will pick up her new gown today. Okay, look at the sentence carefully. Okay, now listen and put T for true, if for false. Ready? Good morning, can I help you? Yes, please. We'd like to withdraw some cash from this credit card. Do you have an account with us? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Just checking. There is no service charge for account holders. Oh, I see. What do you think, Amal? Wouldn't it be a good idea to open an account? I'll be back here every few months. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Whatever you think is best. In that case, I'd like to open an account, please. Of course. Would you like to come this way and fill out some documents? Thank you. Oh, excuse me. I'd like to withdraw some money from my account. I didn't realize you had an account at this bank. Yes, I do. It's just that I don't use it often enough to remember. Sorry. That's fine. I'm glad we'll both be using the same bank. Oh, look at the number of people waiting at the counter. I wish I had the card for my cash card account. I could use the ATM. I forgot to take it this morning. Please don't worry. I'll wait for you. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Yasmin. Stores are about to close for the afternoon. You'd better hurry and pick up your gown. You're probably right. Actually, I won't pick it up today. I'd like them to take the hem up. 
You'll be all right, won't you? Yes, of course. Give me a ring on my cell phone when you're ready. I'll do that. Okay. See you soon. Okay. So did you get the answer, the correct answer? Sentence number one. Yasmin can't use the type of credit card because she doesn't have an account. True or false? Yes, it's false. She can use the credit card, but they ask her to open an account so she can have more services. Yasmin is interested in opening an account. Right, true. Amal can use the ATM. False, because she f forgot her credit card. Yasmin will pick up her new gown today. Yes, false. No, she's going to pick it tomorrow because she needs to, to fix the, the hem. Wonderful. Okay, let's move forward here. Look at the exercise. You have the same sentences in your book on the column on the left and the column on the left. One, two, three, you have nine sentences. You're going to choose the correct one to fill in the conversation. Let's read them together. One, just checking. There is no service charge for account holders. In that case, I'd like to open an account, please. Yes, please. Would like to withdraw some cash from this credit card. Four, do you have an account with us? Five, would you like to come this way and fill out some documents? Six, I'd like to withdraw some money from my account. Seven, I wish I had the card for my cash card account. I could use the ATM. Wouldn't it be a good idea to open an account? I didn't realize you had an account at this bank. Now look at the conversation. Try to fill in the spaces. Listen and fill in. Which is suitable sentence in each space. Ready? Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. We'd like to withdraw some cash from this credit card. Do you have an account with us? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Just checking. There is no service charge for account holders. Oh, I see. What do you think, Amal? Wouldn't it be a good idea to open an account? I'll be back here every few months. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Whatever you think is best. Okay. What are you going to put here? The first one. Good morning, can I help you? Right, yes please, we'd like to withdraw some cash from this credit card. Then the following one, what would the bank clerk say? Right, do you have an account with us? No, I'm sorry, I don't, is that a problem? No, not at all. Then, right, just checking, there is no service charge for account holders. Okay, the following one. I see. What do you think, Amal? Wouldn't it be a good idea to open an account? I'll be back here every few months. I would. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Whatever you think is best. The following part, you're going to do the same. Fill in the spaces. Listen, follow, and fill in the spaces. Ready? In that case, I'd like to open an account, please. Of course. Would you like to come this way and fill out some documents? Thank you. Oh, excuse me. I'd like to withdraw some money from my account. I didn't realize you had an account at this bank. Yes, I do. It's just that I don't use it often enough to remember. Sorry. That's fine. I'm glad we'll both be using the same bank. Oh, look at the number of people waiting at the counter. I wish I had the card for my cash card account. I could use the ATM. I forgot to take it this morning. Okay. What did you write here? What did you fill? What did she say? Right. In that case, I'd like to open an account, please. Of course, would you like to come this way and fill out some documents? Thank you. Excuse me. I'd like to withdraw some money from my account. The following one, it did, I didn't realize you had an account at this bank. And the last one here, where did you put? Yes, wonderful. I wish I had the card for my cash account. I could use the ATM. 
Did you get them correct? Excellent. The last part here, you're not going to fill anything. Just listen and tell me. How did, what did they agree at the end? What are they going to do? Morning. Please don't worry. I'll wait for you. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Yasmin. Stores are about to close for the afternoon. You'd better hurry and pick up your gown. You're probably right. Actually, I won't pick it up today. I'd like them to take the hem up. You'll be all right, won't you? Yes, of course. Give me a ring on my cell phone when you're ready. I'll do that. Okay. See you soon. So she went back to the shop and her friend stayed in the bank to finish what she was doing. Great. Okay. We learned from this conversation lots of expressions and phrases that you're using in the bank, right? What did they say? Can you underline them? Can you fill them up? With they said, would like to withdraw some cash from this credit card. When you withdraw money from or withdraw cash from your credit card, do you have an account with us? Service change, service charge, account holder, open an account. So these are some of the words they use. Use the ATM. So you open an account in a bank, you become an account holder, you, you don't have service charge if you are an account holder, you can use your ATM, and if the bank clerk is going to ask you, do you have an account with us? And at the beginning, you have to state why, do you, why are you in the bank? I would like to withdraw money, I would like to deposit money, or anything. Open an account, close my, cancel my account. Other expressions is like what? Transfer money, if you want to transfer money from one place to another, to transfer money to your friend, to your sister, to your brother. You're going to ask for checks, if you want some checks. Cancel an account, you don't need your account anymore, or you make a deposit. You put money or cash in your account, so you make a deposit. Did you get them all? Okay. Now here, short practice, try to match each picture with the correct word. You have checks, withdrawal, cash, credit card. Look at the four pictures. Which one shows checks? Right. Withdrawal. Which picture shows you a person withdrawing money? Right. Yes, cash, this is cash, and the credit card, right, is the last one. This is the credit card, wonderful. Okay, more practice. Listen to the conversation, then answer the following questions. You have three questions, you have a totally different conversation. A lady in a bank, listen to the conversation and tell me. Question number one, why is she in the bank? It is not Amal and Yasmin, it is another lady. How much does she want to deposit? How much? Money, it means you're going to listen for a number. Does she have a cash or credit or check? Are you ready? So you have three questions. Why is she in the bank? How much does she want to deposit? And does she have cash or check? Ready? Listen. How are you doing? Great, thanks for asking. What can I do for you today? I would like to deposit some money. Are you depositing cash or a check? I want to deposit cash. How much are you depositing? I would like to deposit $300. What account do you want your money in? I want to deposit it into my checking account. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. OK. So was it clear? Why is she in the bank? What does she want? Does she want to open an account? cancel an account, withdraw money, deposit money. What does she want? Right, excellent. She wants to deposit money. Okay, how much does she want to deposit? Did you get the number? Yes, $300. Okay, does she have cash or check with her? Yes, she had cash with her. So she went to the bank to deposit $500 cash. Have you ever been to the bank? It's very helpful to learn these phrases and words to use them when you are in a bank. Okay, the last activity here, this is a conversation. You're going to fill in. Now, you are going to guess which word is suitable from the one we learned. Deposit, uh, withdraw, account, 
open an account, cancel an account. Let's read the conversation first. Then I'll give you time to guess. What can I help you with? Huda, I would like to open. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Then the bank clerk, in order to open this account, you need to a, mi a minimum of 50 Saudi Riyal to do what? I want to deposit 500. I'll, for you right now, your ID, please. Can you think of the word to complete the conversation? It took a place in a bank. So think of the words related to a bank, like withdraw, deposit, cancel, cash, check, open. The first one, what can I help you with? I would like to open what usually would you open in a bank? Yes, right, you open a bank account. Excellent, or open account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. In order to open this account, you need to do what? A minimum of 50, or 50 Saudi Riyal. To do what? To withdraw or to deposit to open an account. What do you need? What do you think? Withdraw or deposit? Right. Yes, you need to deposit. And it's a clear where in the, I want to deposit 500 in the answer. So what you need to deposit? Minimum of 50 Saudi Riyal. Then she deposit the money. I'll for you right now. What is he going to do right now? I will, yes, you can give me any answer. I'll open an account for you right now, or I'll set up your account for you right now. And I need your ID. Of course, they need your ID in the bank. So learn these words that you could use in a bank and expressions or phrases to use them when you are in a bank. And your homework is going to be form sentences using four of the new words you have learned today. We have learned lots of words like deposit, withdraw, cash, check, cancel, account, account holder, credit card. Choose four of these words and form sentences using them. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget your homework and don't forget to practice the new words and expressions you learned about a bank today. See you next class.